when is it time to treat? What factors do you look at? Um, so there's pretty well established guidelines for when treatment is indicated. Um, the International Workshop for CLL uh, has these kind of published guidelines. So it's something you could Google um, off the top of my head. Um, the uh, main reasons that I do treatment, um, which are included in these guidelines are um, number one, if the patient has low blood counts due to the CLL. Um, so that could be anemia or low platelets. Um, two is if they have bulky um, lymph nodes. Um, they actually define bulky as 10 centimeters. So that's pretty big. Or if the lymph nodes are being uh, uh, symptomatic in some way, they're bothering the patient. Um, they don't have to be that big. Um, three is if the patient has um, bulky spleen enlargement or if it's causing symptoms. Um, so the spleen is next to the stomach. So say, you know, some patients may not be able to eat a full meal. That's another reason we could do treatment. Um, another reason is if the CLL is causing constitutional symptoms. Um, so sometimes these are black and white. Um, so one is um, unintentional weight loss um, of 10% or more of the body weight. Um, the one that's not always black and white is um, fatigue. So um, uh, patients can have fatigue from the CLL, but I've found often um, fatigue can be due to other causes. And so, you know, that's um, something I consider um, an important job of mine is to make sure we don't jump into CLL treatment if, say, there's some other cause uh, for the tiredness, such as, you know, say the thyroid's off or, you know, there's a huge amount of stress due to some um, other factor outside of the CLL. Um, and then some other constitutional symptoms are uh, CLL can cause fever, or drenching night sweats. Um, those two, it's important to make sure there's not a concurrent in infection because infections can also cause those symptoms. Yeah. Um, the last indication is um, patients with CLL can develop autoimmune cytopenias. And so that's when um, the immune system attacks some component of the blood cells. Most commonly, that's um, an autoimmune anemia or autoimmune thrombocytopenia. That's the term for low platelets. Um, usually we can treat that with steroids or occasionally just a CD20 by itself, um, like rituximab, um, to kind of calm down the immune system. However, if those kind of immune-based therapies um, fail the patient, um, then we could consider uh, treating the CLL um, to help fix that problem. Mm -hmm.